I welcome you all to this inaugural session of this 3D's uh, Mentoring on Capacity Building Workshop on Career Opportunities Abroad that's being conducted by CCPC in collaboration with Project Review Access from August 29 to 31st. And it's being attended by students from various schools, colleges, universities of Kashmir. Main aim of this workshop is to guide and mentor the students about various opportunities for higher studies, scholarships, fellowships, particularly in the United Kingdom, and to help them through the process of application and CV writings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Career Counseling and Planning Center of the University of Kashmir was established in 2004 and has since been actually involved with career counseling, planning, placements, coaching for competitive examinations, hand-holding and guidance of students. This center has been working hard to achieve its vision of attaining the status of a well-recognized center of excellence for career education, coaching, training, placements, nurturing, grooming, and guiding our youth in their transformation as professional leaders to serve the society in diverse capacities. In pursuit of this mission, we have been organizing training workshops, job fairs, recruitment drives from time to time in order to help prepare our students for their placement and support them in their careers. Besides, the center has been imparting coaching for various competitive examinations like IAS, KAS, NEET, JEE, UGC, NET, JRF, CMAT, etc. Recently, when results of Jammu and Kashmir uh, Administrative Service preliminary examination of 2022 were declared on August 17th, 10 of our trainees for this year passed the preliminary examination and now we are preparing for their mains examination. We hope and best, uh, wish best for them and hope that they will clear the mains examination also. We are providing full guidance and support to them in this regard. Earlier, many of our passouts have emerged successful in various national level competitive examinations. And earlier this year, we also provided coaching for IAS JKS examination to a total of 50 students absolutely free of cost on the basis of financial assistance received from Central Waqf Council, New Delhi. And this year, we will provide coaching for IAS and JKS examinations of next year, 2023, to a total of 100 students. And for NEET JWE examination of 2023 to another 100 students, which will be selected by the Department of Tribal Affairs, JNK government under its Parvaz scheme of Mission Youth JNK. Only yesterday, 100 students have been allocated to our center for IAS JKS coaching under this scheme that will be started within, very, uh, within a couple of weeks. We have nominated a team of 66 career counselors from various departments and centers of the main and satellite campuses of the university. And soon after I took over as director of this center last year, we got all our career counselors and placement officers professionally trained and certified in career counseling and through a first through a reputed coaching academy Mindler then followed by Tata Advanced System Limited Hyderabad so that they could effectively and proficiently deliver back at their respective departments and help the students. CCPC has also been offering comprehensive coaching of the best quality for competitive examinations so that a sizable number of its trainees qualify civil services and other competitive examinations. It has always been our endeavor to create appropriate communication channels for the students on social media platforms like Facebook, through which we communicate the various opportunities for fully funded scholarships, fellowships, internships, and placements abroad. And both within and outside the country, we provide information regarding these. This year, we have conducted career counseling sessions at Mal Malinson's Girls High School, Government Higher Secondary School, Tangdar, Islamia College of Science and Commerce, a motivational session on goal setting in career and life by Mr. Rizwanuddin, Commissioner Provident Fund was also organized by the center on May 23rd at CCPC. We have also conducted numerous webinars and motivational sessions online for stress management, psychological counseling, goal setting and career mapping of students. I believe this center can also contribute significantly towards engagement and active participation of the students in various exchange programs, seminars, workshops, conferences, entrepreneurship and skill development activities, exposure tours, internships, sports activities, and other competitive, uh, these other competitions. Over the past one year, CCPC has conducted a series of campus recruitment drives 
with Tata Advanced System Limited Hyderabad, Tata Consultancy Services Mumbai, Equia Pharmaceuticals, Extra Marks Private Limited, Surf Staffing Private Limited, Hoping Minds Private Limited, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals, etc. And in future too, CCPC contemplates to approach top-notch corporates of the private sector in India for conducting on-campus recruitment drives at regular intervals and engaging our enterprising youth in their corporate affairs. We will continue to work with zeal, zest, and dedication in days to come to take our center to new heights of achievement and excellence under the patronage and guidance of our dynamic and visionary leaders like Professor Nilofar Khan, Professor Farooq Masoodi, and Dr. Nisar Ahmad Meer. In order to develop stronger linkages with local industry for providing employable workforce to new projects from within the union territory, our center has signed three memoranda of understanding. One was signed with Tata Consultancy Services, and under that MOU, various programs covered include Youth Employment Program, Go IT and Ignite My Future Program, Adult Literacy Program, Bridge IT Program, specially curated on tourism. Another MOU was signed with Tata Advanced Systems Limited Hyderabad in order to support and strengthen the existing career counseling services and create awareness about emerging perspectives of careers by conducting industry academia interface meetings. Dear participants, third um, MOU was signed by our center with Stripes Deep Minds Innovations Private Limited for facilitating industry engagements like leadership talks, brand storytelling, potential internship projects, and incubation opportunities for students of the University of Kashmir. Apart from these three more MOUs, apart from these MOUs, this center has also entered into informal collaborations with several private institutions and organizations over the past one year, like with Clicks Campus Private Limited, Code Coefficient Private Limited, Hoping Minds Private Limited, Staff Serving Private Limited, Sales Shark Private Limited, Learn Desk Private Limited, and Riskid Private Limited. So the main uh, task is that they will train and subsequently recruit our passouts, our students in the industry at zero cost to the students. Only if the students get placed at an annual package of more than five lakhs, some of them will be charging those students, otherwise rest of the students will get absolutely free training and then free placements after the training is completed. Almost uh, for this today's mentoring session, which we are conducting in collaboration with Project Edu Access, more than uh, 1,600 registrations have been received for this workshop from different schools, colleges, and universities of Kashmir. This workshop will be spread over three days with day one dedicated to the students of social sciences, day two for the students of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and day three for the students of arts and humanities. Earlier, we have organized a similar day-long mentoring session in collaboration with Project Edu Access in this very hall on May 9th. And this is the second such event with Project Edu Access, though this time it is of three days duration. During this three-day workshop session, will, sessions will be conducted by the pass-outs of some of the reputed international universities like Oxford University, Cambridge University, London University, UNSW Australia, Milano and Durham University. Besides informing the participants about the opportunities for higher studies and fully funded scholarships, they will also be provided useful information about CV writing, English language tests, writing personal statements or SOPs, making PhD applications and applications for funding. During this program, mentees will receive support and guidance to make applications towards premier institutes like that of University of Oxford, Cambridge and London School of Economics as well as towards reputed scholarships. And these mentees will also receive one-on-one -on -one mentorship support on all aspects of UK admission process. <clears throat> so the workshops will be conducted in the, this hall and side hall so that one-to-one -one mentorship is provided to the students and you know, uh, hands-on sessions are conducted. And this workshop is being organized through a generous grant from the Margaret Thatcher Scholarship Trust, Somerville College, University of Oxford. Dr. Samir Rashid will tell us more about Project Edu Access and its sphere of activities. Project Edu Access is a, a modest attempt to address inequality in higher education institutions. As we all know, higher education institutions across South Asia and across the world are um, highly inaccessible to most potential learners on account of a, uh, a number of barriers that may be financial difficulties or a lack of um, information and asymmetric uh, access to information. And um, Project Edu Access is uh, just a very modest attempt 
to address those barriers and provide guidance and mentorship to potential learners, especially from marginalized communities. We were launched in 2021 and we ran a pilot session um, for, uh, for Kashmiri students in which we took around 30 mentees. And I'm very glad to announce that two of them have got fully funded scholarships to study at the University of Oxford. Um, two of them have got the Achievement Scholarship and uh, uh, they're, they're going to be here today, uh, today and um, in the uh, coming two days uh, of the workshop. And two more have got fully funded um, uh, admissions uh, in the US. And several of them have received offers from other universities in the UK. Um, the, encouraged by the success of the first um, pilot program, we launched a, a bigger mentorship program this year in May 2022. And we are running a mentorship program for students from marginalized communities, especially Kashmiris, Indian Muslims, Dalits, Bahujans, Adivasis, uh, women and gender minorities, uh, students from Northeast India, and students belonging to economically disadvantaged uh, backgrounds. And what we do is we connect them to, uh, to graduates, current graduate students at different universities in the UK, as well as graduates of these universities to guide them in their applications to pursue postgraduate studies at higher education institutions in the UK and abroad as well. Um, these mentees receive support and guidance to make applications to premier universities, for example, University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, London School of Economics, SOAS University of London, and many other universities, as well as reputed scholarships, uh, both internal as well as external, like Chevening Scholarship, Rhodes Scholarship, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, mentees also receive one-on-one -on -one support uh, and, and can attend bespoke workshops and sessions that we organize from time to time. We have a range of activities that we organize, especially our weekends, which are open. Uh, some of them are open to all, and I would encourage you to uh, uh, go on to our website, www.projecteduaccess.com, and um, just get a flavor of the kind of activities that we have on offer for all of you. Uh, we organize specific workshops for specific disciplines. Sometimes there are workshops for law students, there are workshops for STEM, there are workshops for humanities, and there are, there are also uh, workshops that cater to specific geographical locations, for example, PhDs in the US, PhDs in the UK, PhDs in, in Europe, and PhDs in Australia, given that there is some dissimilarity in the applications that you make to these uh, geographical regions. And just an update, we have onboarded over 350 mentees this year, uh, and uh, they are currently mentored by a community of over 350 plus mentors who are all either graduates or graduate students at different universities in the UK and recipients of prestigious scholarships like Chevening, Rhodes, uh, Inlax, and, and so on and so forth. Our mission is to democratize access to higher education uh, so that all individuals have an equal um, access to higher education and thereafter be able to improve their professional as well as personal growth. The three-day program will definitely be benefit the students from our valley. When we see the educational setup of India, we all know that the India has the second largest network of higher education, whether it is uh, at the college level or it is the university level. We have almost 40,000 colleges in India, about 40,000 and almost 900 universities, whether central, state, deemed private, etc. But uh, we know all that the NAC accreditation to our universities and colleges, uh, they have spoken a decimal scenario of our colleges, whether in, the, in terms of infrastructure, whether in terms of the human resource available, or whether in terms of the academics imparted in those institutions, there is, a, there is slightly a lot of issues in our higher education system. And Government of India has now launched a new policy which is NEP 2020 and they are committed to upgrade and up skill the college level education and university level education in India. We also know that uh, University Grants Commission has also launched a scheme which, were, which was called IOEs, Institutions of Eminence, and few, almost 20 institutions in India were declared as institutions of eminence. 
some 10 in the private sector and some 10 in the public sector. Further, we know that now India has given access to the uh, outside universities, whether it is Oxford, uh, whether it is Cambridge or other universities, they have now given an access to that, those universities in India also. Hopefully, they will also be creating and establishing campuses throughout India. But we all know that uh, because uh, a huge population of our subcontinent lives in uh, below the poverty line. In India only, we estimate almost 32% population which live below the poverty line. So excess, then uh, we see that affordability is also an issue in Indian context to go for the higher education at any level. Hopefully now Government India is also launching certain scholarship schemes and also already they have launched a few scholarship, scholarship schemes in international cooperation with other countries. We see that there are certain uh, with Norway, with Canada, with few countries in the Europe, we see that there is an internal exchange program between the students where students go from India to some other countries and the students from those countries come to India for studies. And the expenditure borne on those studies is by the respective countries. Well, if they are in India, the expenditure is borne by India only, and if they are outside, it is borne by the host country there, there only. So, though we are trying to come up to the international standards, but probably, to be honest with you, it may take a lot of time. Because uh, at present, none of the universities, you know all that none of the universities figure in the top 200 universities of the world, and none of the Indian universities. Though at the subject level, we see that certain universities figure in the, when, we, when there is a comparison in subjects, if we see that uh, JNU's uh, Department of Sociology figures among the top 10 subjects of the world, so at subject level, few departments figure in the top, but at university level, we figure nowhere in 200. So the opportunity to be, to be given to the students to study abroad is a good opportunity, and I am thankful to what probably it is the access to education, it is UD access. So they are making these awareness and mentor mentee programs in the University of Kashmir. At university level, we will inshallah provide our full support under the leadership of our Honorable Vice Chancellor. Under the leadership of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, we probably are converting our coaching institute, the CCPCA, into a residential one. For any academic endeavor, University of Kashmir is committed to extend any type of support to the students, to the society, to the stu stakeholders. Seeing an audience comprising of very budding scholars, innocence trickles down from their faces, it undoubtedly gives us a different feeling. And then once any person looks at those floral buds, those things are not only soothing for our eyes, but that also gives us hope this will bloom into a flower, it will be beneficial not only for that particular family to those parents, but for the society, for the whole country, for the whole humanity. We wish good luck to all of you. So different, uh, this uh, training program, it comprises of different components. I was going through your, this program. I'm sure that deliberations, very fruitful deliberations are expected during these uh, three days training program. Say one of the components which you will be trained in is the statement of purpose. You may be, all of you, you may be familiar with the, what this statement of purpose is. Many times we seek help from our teachers, from our parents, from our seniors, from our colleagues. There is no harm in seeking this type of help. But bear one thing in mind, the originality in statement of purpose. That's very essential. Those 
those who evaluate, those who analyze your statement of purpose. They will evaluate it very critically and they will just assess how original your statement is. So be careful about that, about the statement of purpose. Similarly, preparation of CV, this will be another component of your training program. Again, there is no harm in seeking advice, in seeking opinion, how to prepare your CV for presentation. You have to be very careful to ensure that you prepare it. The originality should reflect from your CV or from your statement of purpose. Once organizations plan anything, they subject themselves to a critical analysis. Many of you, those who have studied management to some extent, they may be familiar with that. SWOT analysis or SWOC analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. Similarly, individuals, especially the students at your stage, we should critically analyze our strengths, our weaknesses. It's a natural phenomena. Some of us may be in possession of one type of strength. Others may be having different type of strength. Critically analyze yourselves. Maybe say scoring very good in the examinations. This can be your one of the strengths. But it doesn't mean those who score less, they, do, they are not in possession of any strength. Critically analyze yourselves. जब हम संजीदगी से इन चीजों का तज्जिया करेंगे, definitely we will arrive at some conclusion. No, I can do this thing better than many of, better than other colleagues. So this is very essential. Critically analyzing our strengths or weaknesses. Then English language is another component which. The importance or communication, you will be trained in that also. Those of you who have studied Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi's The Story of My Experiments with Truth, they have, might have seen this statement of Gandhiji that uh, somehow I was, uh, I got this notion that a good handwriting or very uh, probably good communication, it reflects the person's level of his intellect or his academic and intellectual potential. But it's not always like that. Like in Aajkal ke dunia mein, jab hum dekhte hain, definitely these things do carry some weight. We must be very good in communication. We must be very uh, good in both verbal as well as in our uh, written communication. So that's also very important. I appreciate the efforts of our uh, CCPC which is headed by uh, Dr. Geer Mohammed Ishaq. As I told you, this is altogether a, a different experience to interact with students at this stage. I congratulate Professor Geer, our director for CCPC, uh, for being uh, actively involved in all the activities uh, which should be conducted through our CCPC. Uh, from the university side, from the administration side, our Dean Academic Affairs, our Registrar, Professor Nisar, or anyone uh, at the administration or in any of the departments. Uh, of course, our main concern is uh, students are studying here, our, their placement or their, if they have zest to go uh, you know, abroad, to study or to study uh, in our own country also. Uh, we have to facilitate that and we have to guide that. We are very grateful to, to the team which has approached us, EduAccess, for uh, providing such type of mentoring to our students. I must say that it's a great activity. It's a great uh, activity which is specifically oriented towards uh, you know, uh, just uh, clearing the confusion, uh, clearing the, uh, you know, doubts 
which are students which are youth usually have when they reach this stage so i think it's right time right choice uh, right place which we have to choose and uh, of course your hard work is very important i don't think so there's uh, you know uh, any dirt or there's any complication if you people want to uh, study uh, abroad only thing is uh, one has to work very hard you are so fortunate to have this team which has come over here uh, at your doorsteps i want you people uh, to take this exercise very seriously and believe me you will gain something from this uh, today's day or the days uh, tomorrow and day after you will definitely uh, gain something i was seeing there's a virtual uh, talk by british council on toffel and ielts the of course these two uh, you know uh, exams in order to go abroad are very important and you people are so lucky that you will be uh, you know given some of the guidelines how to clear it and so on and as dean academic affairs said uh, that uh, you know purpose is very important uh and i am sure uh, when you put up the purpose there is a team uh, to mentor you uh, and further remove your confusion further remove your doubts which is very uh, important uh and uh, i am sure that it will be a very successful uh, workshop uh, i also congratulate our director and the team of ccpc our 10 students have uh, you know uh, cleared the pre prelims of uh, kashmir administrative uh, services again a great job but definitely we need to work hard because uh, this is uh, i must say uh, this is the ultimate which should be our goal definitely we have to see the placements and we have to see the further uh, how our students uh if they want to be guided for further studies how we have to guide them uh, as dean academic affairs said we are there any time you know any one of us is there to uh, guide you to counsel you to help you there's no uh, dearth of that uh, we want our ccpc uh, should really uh, be vibrant always uh, and be engrossed be actively involved with the activities uh, which i can see today uh, it's a great job and uh, definitely for next two days it will be like that uh, i must say that uh, professor geer takes uh, has taken the activities of ccpc very seriously and then i can see that uh, he's always you know uh, very much particular to have some of the other activity for our students we also have in uh, pipeline the other um, activities uh, which uh, will be there for the placement of students and all that uh, he has created that network nationally and i am happy that uh, we are also moving towards the international platform by this by having this particular activities i request edu access that uh, you know uh, please keep on uh, mentoring the students because uh, it's very much uh, needed because uh, you know uh, if they surf through internet i don't think so they will get much information and yours is the first hand information uh, you have traveled you have sent students you have that network that is very important the network those students who have already gone that's you know very important so these uh, this type of uh, network helps when people are already there uh, so in order to you know remove the confusion and uh, doubts i am sure it will be a very fruitful exercise and definitely we'll see that your doubts are cleared uh, your confusion is cleared and uh, we do look forward to edu access to have such types of activities with you in future also i am very happy they have chosen the marginalized group for this type of uh, mentoring which is very much needed and uh, uh, you know in university of kashmir they are always welcome if any type of activity is to be done